Hello friends, welcome back to another video. In this video, I will be providing you the solution of our arcade trivia week 1's third lab which is going to be about running Windows container on Compute Engine. Before starting the solution, I simply want to inform you that I already uploaded the solution of the previous two labs and which is available in the description box. Go to the description box, you will get the link of this playlist and you can quickly access the solution of the previous two labs. And if you haven't enrolled in this challenge right now, then you have the chance still because 1255 spots are still remaining. Okay. So, if you haven't yet enrolled, then you can enroll quickly and start the progress. Okay. Now, jumping into the third lab, click on this. Click on the start lab button. Wait for credentials to be loaded up. And this lab would be a little bit tricky and a little laggy because we have to install a virtual machine in our system and all the tasks will be performed. Okay. So, yes. Simply, first of all, copy the password. Right click upon open Google Cloud Console and open it in incognito window. It's important to open the incognito mode only. And you will see that the uh, student ID is automatically pasted up. So, we have to next click karna hai and need to paste the password. So, paste the password here. Click on the next button. Click on the I understand button. And we got logged in into our Google Cloud Console. First of all, we need to accept the terms and conditions as the usual. If you have done the first labs, then you will know that we terms and conditions accept the terms and conditions. So, accept it. Click on the Agree and Continue button. And from here, select the VM instance. Let me show you where it is. Mm -hmm. Or storage, Compute Engine. Yes, VM instances. From the Compute Engine, from the left panel, select the VM instances. And this time we uh, we will see that already a virtual machine is established for us. So we need to connect with that machine. So you will see this RDP button. Beside this, you will see an arrow. So click the arrow and download the RDP file. Okay, it will you be used to connect the virtual machine. So save it in the downloads folder and click on the save button. Now copy, first of all, copy this external IP and come back to your folder, download folder. And open this Windows instance. You need to simply open this. Run this and click on connect. Don't worry, it's not any harmful thing. It's just it's connecting us with the virtual machine. So no need to be worried about. And for the password, simply come back to your lab. Click on the task one from here. The password is this one. Copy the password. Come back to here. Or oh, yes, we also need to change the username. So from more choices, use a different account from the username. Select the username first, this one. Paste the username here. And now for the password, copy this password. Paste it here and click on the OK button. Make sure you uh, haven't made any mistake in the password in the username. After that, click on the OK button. And it will connect us with the virtual machine. Simply click on the Yes button. It will take a couple of seconds and after this machine gets loaded, it would be a very laggy maybe, depend on your system, your system hai, because a virtual machine complete aapka open ho rahe, so it can be a laggy. So wait for it to uh, like establish the connection. So once your connection got established, it would look like this. Wait for it to get loaded completely first. So after it loads the connection, it will open some windows like this. So here what you need to do, simply click on the yes button from here. After clicking on the yes, cut this panel. The machine would be laggy because it's on the virtual machine. So it's depend on your connection as well as your sub performance of your local system. So don't worry if it's lag a little bit. So first of all, what we can do while it's uh, connecting the connection. Uh, yes, we can minimize it for a second. And uh, it's still connecting. Yes, it's connected. So yes. So while it's connecting or stabilizing the perfect connection, the stable connection, simply uh, scroll down in your lab and copy this first task. Okay, you have to first task copy karna hai and we need to uh, run this command in the command prompt of that virtual machine. So once again, come back to the virtual machine, maximize it, cut this. Also, we can cut this one. Now open this, right click upon it. And run it as the administrator. Click on yes. Paste the command that we just copied. And hit enter button. Now wait for this command to be run. Why? After it's run successfully, again minimize it. Scroll down a little bit. Keep scrolling. Copy the second command. So now after copying the first command from here, simply come back to your lab or the virtual machine. 
paste your command here hit enter button now come back to here copy the second command come back to here paste the command here hit enter button again copy the third command come back to here paste your command here again hit enter copy the fourth command this one once you copy this fourth command come back to here paste it here hit enter button now watch carefully while you copy this fifth command or the first command of the third task and you will come here and paste the command as soon as you hit enter button it will start to load a notepad it will first open a notepad so it can take a couple of minutes depend on your performance of this uh, system so don't worry hit enter button and yes your notepad is now open so what you need to do you need to copy this uh, whole text it's a html file and that we need to paste under this notepad click on the file button and from here click on the save button and now uh, let me maximize it first of all cut the notepad come back to here scroll down copy the first command paste it in the command shell hit enter button copy the second command paste it here hit enter button it will again open the note, uh, notepad and in the notepad again we need to copy this and paste it here again we need to save the file and we can simply cut this yes let me close this notepad yes close the notepad scroll down copy this come back to here paste it in the command shell hit enter button wait for it to be load uh, let me check if it's loaded or not yes it's running the command let's maximize it wait for this uh, to be completed because it's downloading some things and it will be done without any worries don't worry it's not taking your data it's on the server that's why we don't need to be worried about the internet speed of the data now it's it's extracting after the downloading of the file so wait for a couple of minutes once this command runs successfully after that we will jump to the next command so this command may take around two to three minutes because it's extracting the file depends on the size it will take around like four to five minutes so wait for this command to be run in that time what you can do simply let it be and uh, go to the channel or video hit the subscribe button and hit the like button and come back to your panel once again aapko itne time mein jaake jaldi se like karna hai video ko channel ko subscribe karna hai agar abhi tak nahi kiya kyunki jaise hi main new solutions dal raha hoonga aapko notification milta rahega to it's, it's important to subscribe to the channel okay now wait for it again sit back and relax let it be aapko se hone dena hai chhedna nahi hai so main aapko video mein milta hu jaise hi extraction complete ho jayega so after the wait of the few couple of minutes the extraction of the first file get the completed and stuck at the uh, 100% and uh, last re rest remaining three files didn't started to extract hua kya kuch time maine wait kiya extraction of the first file complete ho gaya aur wo final pe aake uh, stuck ho chuka hai so simply maine isko minimize kiya apne lab ko you, you also need to minimize and click on the check my progress button and you will get the green tick also you don't need to do anything aapka yahan pe stuck ho gaya hai don't worry if it gets completed then it's good well and fine come back to the lab click on the check my progress or if you will get stuck don't worry come back to the lab click on the check my progress button in both the condition you will get the green tick chahe aapka lag ho gaya ho yahan par ya hang ho gaya ho tab bhi aapko green tick mil jayega aur aapko complete ho chuke hain tab bhi aapko green tick mil jayega your assessment is completed rest uh, yes congratulations your lab is completed isme bas aapko ek button pe check my progress karke uh, green tick lena tha aur jaise aapko green tick mil jaye is lab mein then you can simply click on the end lab button and click on the end lab button once again Give the star rating that you want to give. Click on the submit button. Come back to the main page to verify whether we get the green tick beside the lab or not. So we will open it. And you will see that we get the green tick for this lab as well. So yes, we are good to go. Our lab is complete. And make sure to close this virtual instance. Simply, first of all, cut the command prompt and close this virtual instance. Yes, make sure it's not running in the background because it's important to close this virtual machine. Otherwise, it will take your memory in the background. Now that's it. If you like the video, make sure you hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. If you have any query, you can ask me in the Telegram group, WhatsApp group, or on the comment box. Thank you very much. Good. Bye.